want to show you a new product now, which is the uh, ACR, uh, the Ambulance Child Restraint. Uh, this is a, a safety product, a safety harness designed uh, specifically for securing children uh, during transport on an ambulance cot. Traditionally, um, the, the only way to secure a child on an ambulance trolley or an ambulance cot uh, are using conventional ambulance, you know, kind of 50 millimeter straps. Uh, because these straps and stretchers generally are designed for a 75 kg adult, the straps are inadequate and are inefficient at securing children uh, properly during transport. So we have this device here, which is the ACR, and it's a three part harness. So you have three sizes, and all three sizes are contained inside the bag, and they're all color coded for easy identification. Every ACR, every ambulance child restraint is supplied with four of these blue cot straps. Uh, now these are looped, these have a loop at one end, so you simply pass the buckle through and just tighten the blue strap. So to fit the blue straps, most ambulance cots will have a framework uh, below the lying area. So all we need to do is to pass that blue strap around the frame, pass the buckle through, and then just rest the, rest the blue strap on the mattress on the lying area. So if we do the same for this one, position those approximately 12 to 18 inches apart, pass that through, and then we repeat the same process on the opposite side so that the blue straps are facing and are opposite to each other. So this is, the, this is really the setup process for using the child restraint. Now, the actual harness itself is that, because it's designed very cleverly so that it's all stored within its own bag. So to open the device and prepare it for use, you simply open the device and just turn the device inside out. To start, to start with, what we need to do is to loosely just connect these, connect the blue buckles to the corresponding buckle on the mattress. And we just want, all we're looking to do at the moment is you should just roughly get the, the ideal position on the stretcher. So once those four buckles are connected, we can just open, open the ACR out so that it is flat on the mattress and ready to put your child or your patient on board. And the first thing that we do, uh, you, you've got the waistband. So the first thing that you do is to bring that waistband over and then bring the top waistband back towards the, to the person that's fitting the device. And then we have this pad here, which just offers us some support around the crotch, and then reconnect the waistband. And really, you should, you should be able to perhaps move one or two fingers underneath the waistband to ensure that it isn't too tight. You have the shoulder straps, which have this red tab. So the red tabs, as on the waistband, they denote the important security aspects of the device. So you bring that shoulder strap through the through the uh, D-ring and just pass that underneath and secure it around the arm. And the same on the other side, you pass through the D-ring. And one important feature here, you can see this white mark here. That tells you that once that white mark has gone past the D-ring, you have the maximum uh, strap hook and loop engagement so that it's secure. And finally, you have this small strap which goes across the chest area and that just keeps the shoulder harnesses nice and well positioned. When you've got these blue bed straps connected, what you actually do is pull these down tight and if you observe, what happens is you're actually, you're actually pulling the body into the mattress. You're not actually applying any pressure across the body in any way. The same again, you just get hold of the blue bed straps here and here and just tighten those as hard as you can. And once those bed straps are tight, then the child is secured. So <coughs> when the uh, child is being transported, you'll also notice that uh, the, the chest and the abdomen, all of the important areas which you may need to get to to deliver medical intervention are all free and accessible. So for example, if you had to deliver CPR, you just undo this short strap across the chest and straight away you can deliver CPR to the patient. 
and to release the child from the ACR, you simply undo the chest buckle across the chest and lift the straps from underneath the arms and release them from the D-ring on either side and lay the shoulder harnesses out of the way. Peel the top strap from the waistband, pull that back, release the crotch pad and then the remaining two straps and the child is free to be moved into a hospital bed. So now that we'll show you how to fold the ACR up for preparation for washing. So the shoulder straps, if you just fold those over so that the hook and loop is facing each other. So you just bring those across and make sure that they are pressed well together. So turn the ACR so that the blue, the blue straps are facing you and you just turn those buckles in so that they face each other. Bring over the double waistband and then fold that back again. And then the same with the, the single strap Bring that across and just position the crotch pad on top. And then all we have to do is to, using the, the opening on the back of the harness, just open that so that it sits in just, so one half, one half is in the package, in the wash bag. And for the shoulder straps, Again, just fold in the blue buckles and then just roll the shoulder straps so that you reach the buckles and then just bring the shoulder straps over and then put the second half in. And then at the back here, you've got this, the opening of the child restraints. Just fold that over and then the whole parcel, the whole device goes into the washing machine like that.